For the past few months, I've been thinking a lot about the air quality in my lab. This building is not only my workshop, but it's my office, and I spend an average of 12 hours a day here. The only filtration I have comes from the mini-split AC unit. I keep the fan running 24-7, even when the air conditioning is off. Being a maker, I decided to use this as an opportunity to set up an array of sensors to see what kind of data I could get. I've always been a little wary of those Arduino MQ sensors that come with the kits, and so I decided to use a FUBOT as a control. The FUBOT is a commercial unit that measures dust, volatile compounds, and carbon dioxide. It gives an air pollution score of 1 to 100, and I've used that as my baseline. Along with the FUBOT, I also set up two MQ2 sensors, one MQ3 sensor, and an MQ7 sensor. These sensors are measuring things such as alcohol, carbon monoxide, LPG, butane, methane, hexane, benzene, and hydrogen. There's a lot of overlap between these sensors, and so what I was mainly doing was seeing if I could get these sensors to agree. Finally, in order to take a look at the particulates in the air, I bought this WaveShare PM2.5 air sensor. This seems to be the basic sensor that is inside a lot of the commercial dust units, and so I figured I would take a look. All in all, I collected over 120,000 data points with the Arduino alone. So with my instruments in place, I devised a test. I made a simple design that would both cut and engrave half on Baltic birch plywood and half in acrylic. The machine has very good ventilation, so for my tests, I would simply do the burn and then turn off the machine and open the lid immediately and let the sensors do their work. This is what I found. On every run of the test, the pollution would spike to a pollution level of 100, which is poor, almost immediately after the lid was opened. As you can see from the chart, the particulates would go up over a thousand percent, and the VOCs and carbon dioxide would spike by 47 percent as soon as the test was completed. So I talked to the people at EnviroCleanse about my experiments, and they were nice enough to send over an EnviroCleanse mobile air system to put it to the test against my laser cutter and its fumes. The EnviroCleanse unit is all metal, made in the USA, and it contains this beastly HEPA filter plus their own air cartridge that's made to remove allergens and smells. So how did it work? With the EnviroCleanse on high, the air pollution score returned to the good zone below 50 in 4 minutes and was back to my normal score of 20 in 34 minutes and 40 seconds. Since I know many of you are going to ask me what would happen if I just put a filter on a fan, I grabbed a 20 inch box fan and a 3M Filtrate odor reducing air filter and strapped the two together and ran the test again. Air pollution returned to 50 in 6 minutes and 50 seconds and back to 20 in 38 minutes. Regarding the four MQ gas sensors that I used during the test, I noticed several things. Number one is there was absolutely no agreement between the sensors. There was no way that I could dial the sensors in and get them to have similar readings or produce any kind of data that I considered usable or reliable during the test. The second thing I noticed was that the MQ sensor readings did not move around at all during the laser cutting. This was pretty concerning to me, so I decided to pour some chemicals such as acetone and ether into containers and waft them in the general direction of the sensors. The sensors did move around a little bit, but I wasn't able to get any usable data as they were reading high one second and normal the next. The third thing I see is that these sensors are really fun toys, but shouldn't be relied upon for anything useful. I see people making IoT carbon monoxide detectors, and that's a really bad idea. Please never use these sensors in place of commercial sensors, especially when your health is on the line. Now the dust sensor was a completely different story. You can see that as I stop the burn and open the lid, the dust particles immediately shoot up. And then as the EnviroCleanse in this situation is pulling them out of the air, you can watch as these readings trend downward. And that's exactly what the FUBOT was showing. So overall, I'm extremely impressed with how the dust sensor works. I have a few final thoughts. The first one is that air quality matters. Simply put, whatever you put in the air, you are putting in your body, so try to keep your air clean. The second one is that prevention is better than filtration. I decided to do one final test, and what I did was I made the exact same cut with one exception. I left the machine on after the cut was done and allowed the exhaust fan to try to suck as many of the pollutants outside as possible. 
And while the VOCs in carbon spiked to the exact same levels as the other test, it did remove the bulk of the particulates. So I wound up with an overall score of 40, which is not bad compared to the 100 that I was getting with the machine turned off. The third thing is that filtration is not a cure-all. I am not a chemist, but it's pretty widely accepted that you should not be cutting things like ABS and PVC with machines like these because they put off chemicals such as cyanide. So no matter what kind of filtration you have, you want to make sure that you're cutting things that are safe. And finally, MQ sensors are toys. They're fun for experiments, they're fun to tinker around with, but please do not try to get relevant, important data from these sensors. So. This is one of those videos where I will be updating the description. I want to thank you for watching and please keep an eye on that description in the comments as we discuss air quality and if there's anything important I'll make sure to update that. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Stay safe out there.